Yeah, thank you. That was the dear death. Well, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. And my name is Fernando Silicio, and I'm the director for the Silicio Traditional Zuni Dancers. We are a dance group that comes from the Pueblo of Zuni. Quite an honor for us to be here at the New Mexico State Fair in the village again this year. We've been coming here for the past 25 years or so. Um, we've, been, uh, we've been here continuously. And uh, under the direction of our late mother and father. And today we're still going strong under the direction of myself here. The dancers that you see here are uh, that the dancers that actually started here when they were about three or four years old. They were very young when they started here at the New Mexico State Fair. They were, they were the youngest dance group that ever come here. And over the years, uh, as they were growing up, they became to known as the State Fair Indian Village Babies because they, they started here so young. And then rather they're continuing our, 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 our legacy within the dance group. We've been, doing, uh, we've been uh, performing as a professional dance group for more than 30 years now. And our, the dance group was started by our late mother and father with an ambition and dream to preserve and teach some of their culture to us. Our family dance group has always been a family affair consisting of our immediate family. And we are a second, third, and with our grandchildren. We also created the fourth generation of performers in the family. And we get to travel quite a bit here, like our parents, and we get to travel internationally. I'm very proud to say that our dance group has become an international we don't dance group. We travel all over the world. We perform throughout Canada, Europe, the Middle East, Asia, Southeast Asia, the South Pacific. Let's just say our last trip to Turkmenistan became our, became our 40th country that we had visited. And we are always proud and honored to represent the United States and its people through our songs and dances. So um, we've been here since a Friday and today was a busy day for us. But we had a couple of performances outside this venue. We had, a 12, uh, we had an 11 o'clock show at the Indian Public Culture Center, came here, did our 1 o'clock show, and went back to the Culture Center to do a, to do a 2 o'clock show, and now this is our last show for this weekend here. So we're again, uh, we're very glad and honored to be here once again here. And the dancers will be out in a little bit with a different dance. In the meantime, the Navy flute has always been a very, they're a very delicate instrument, all handmade usually from the cedar tree. The tone is often described as a nice, soothing, haunting sound. Indian flute music is very popular for the majority of the songs which are used are used for meditation or for prayers. However, with the